Now at 11 tonight, alarming allegations. A former South Florida commissioner accused of having child porn. Detectives said that they found more than 200 pictures and videos just on one computer. Good evening. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Jawan Strader. And I'm Trina Robinson. What's more concerning, police say the 62-year-old served as a volunteer Santa Claus for the town. Ryan Nelson joined us live now with the disturbing details. Ryan. Yes, as you mentioned, these allegations are alarming and disturbing, but we did speak to one neighbor earlier tonight who says that these allegations just don't fit with the man that she's known for years. 62-year-old James Silverstone, a former Lauderdale by the Sea commissioner, behind bars, facing 10 counts of transmitting child pornography through electronic devices. Silverstone turned himself in Thursday after deputies say hundreds of files containing images and videos of child pornography were found on electronic devices seized from his home, some involving children as young as infants engaging in sexual acts. A neighbor who asked not to be identified says the allegations do not align with the man she knows Silverstone to be. I'm proud to be his friend. I can't believe this has happened. This is absolute not correct. I've known his character for 30 years. He's an outstanding individual, one of the finest humans I've ever known. I know personally of two people he saved lives. I mean, he volunteers uh, to do everything for everybody. He, this, is, this is not him. Aside from being a former town commissioner and fire chief, BSO says Silverstone has also served as a volunteer Santa Claus for the town in the past. NBC6 located this picture of what appears to be Silverstone dressed as Santa Claus. He's tagged in the photo on social media. And I've also been with him at, when he's been volunteer Santa. I mean, he's just a, a consummate good do-gooder. Do Somebody's out to get him. This is not right. I'm infuriated. And anybody else who knows him would be too. I'm shaking. I'm so upset. And earlier this evening, I spoke to Silverstone's wife on the phone, but she declined to comment. Ryan Nelson, NBC6 News. Ryan.